In tonight's Consumer Alert, smartphones have made our lives easier in many ways, but they've also made it increasingly hard to unplug, even on vacation. Nikki Batiste reports. High school teacher Jennifer Smith and her family came to New York on vacation. When you go on vacation, are you checking in with work, your emails, your phone? I am all the time. In fact, I've emailed and texted my students the entire time I've been here. In a new survey from the job placement agency Account Temps, 56% of workers say they check in with the office during vacation. That's up from 54% in 2017 and just 41% in 2016. Who's most likely to check in frequently while they're on vacation? Millennials, without question. And one of the main reasons for that is the use of their smartphones. Account Temps Richard Deosing says many people feel pressure to always be in contact with work. I have my email on my phone, so I check it maybe every couple of hours just to see if it's important messages I need to answer. Experts say it's important to come up with a plan before you leave for vacation. Make sure that you have a colleague available to cover for you while you're out and make sure you arm them with enough information as possible so they can make decisions on your behalf. That can help you leave the office at home. How many times have you checked your email or your work calls while you've been here? Zero. Zero? Yes. So you can completely unplug from work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the study found baby boomers were the most likely to unplug and actually enjoy their vacation from work. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, New York. The survey also says employees plan to only take nine vacation days this summer, down from 10 last year. It was such an awesome win that we're still celebrating the Fargo Force. And this is 10 years in the exactly. making. Yeah, yeah, Fargo Force winning their first ever Clark Cup title. Got to celebrate with the fans tonight. We've got reaction from some of these players as they celebrate this major moment in their careers. That's next.